my name is Jay Fox. This is my channel. Welcome back to my channel. So go ahead and subscribe. I don't need to give you reasons. You you hear, you click this. You're giving yourself enough reasons. So let's make this permanent. Let's make this a real thing. Let's lock this down. Tap in, okay? Um, so I have another uh, roasting outfits, roasting award show outfits video. I haven't, done any, I haven't done one of these in a very long time, mainly because there haven't been any award shows for people to get dressed uh, to go to due to the whole pandemic and people staying home and going to Mexico. Yeah, the AMAs happened. Also, should that have, 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 have happened? Probably not. I don't know if it was safe or not, but either way, we're gonna talk about these good old outfits. I have done many of these videos in the past, so I will link them down in the description if you would like to get a slice of that. But let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. First up, uh, we have Machine Gun Kelly and Harper, who is this white woman? Oh, uh, Megan Fox. Um, Megan Fox, I mean, she looks fine. Is it, is it anything to write home about? No, but does she look good? Yeah. Machine Gun Kelly, I kind of like this blazer with the front pocket. Uh, Mr. Kelly has on these harem-esque pants that he sold from the set of the You and Me video. It's very much um, giving You've been waiting so long, I'm here to answer your call. Is this, are these good looks or are they just attractive? And I think they just might be attractive. We have JLo and JLo looks fine. I mean, JLo always looks fine. JLo is always going to wear something that she looks good in. She's got this two piece on. She's got this shiny silver set. I like the shoulder moment that's happening. Um, I like that it's long sleeves. I think the skirt is weird actually now that i'm looking at it i don't know i like the top i don't know how i feel about the bottom the bottom feels kind of like an afterthought in my opinion and i think the super low rise skirt as well even though i understand why the decision was made i don't know if it was a decision that should have been made could have been better but it won't next up is bb rexa i think whenever i see bb rexa i don't see bb rexa i see every other woman that bb rexa looks like like am i looking at kylie jenner is this rita aura is this the floor manager at sephora probably that one she looks pretty i do love a hoe aesthetic like i love like a very revealing dress and not because gay but because i just i don't know i'm just here for when women are like i'm gonna show my whole tits today like you know like i I just prefer it. I mean, it's boring. It's whatever. It's giving bottle service, girl. Let us know when that next lip kit drops, though, BB. Doja Cat. Mug looks great. Hair looks great. As for the rest, I hate to say this, but I don't, I don't think I hate it. I don't think I hate it because if you cover the left side of the dress, it's kind of cute. I mean, the whole thing is definitely very pooper scooper and it's the color. I don't think this dress would be as much of a choice as it is if the color was different. Um, if nothing else, she's a walking ad for lactate. Uh, Cara de la, de, de, Cara de la, I feel like, the gay girls of Hollywood, the thing, our thing has been, I like how I grouped myself. Did you hear me just group myself into that group? I am the gay girl of Google Chrome, like relax, Jade. The thing about the gay girls of Hollywood is that there's only so many times you can wear a suit and bitches are gonna think it's innovative. You know what I mean? The only time it works is if Janelle Monae does it. She's exempt from all the rules. It's She's the only one that can do it until she dies and it'll be a look each and every time. I think they figured y'all out though. And it now is the time, you see me just check for Ash. And now is the time to be doing something a little different. I feel like a lot of these looks are going to be fine as in they look cute, they look good. However, I think that most of these are gonna be particularly, you know, uninventive and uninspiring and vastly underwhelming. And that's kind of the, the feel that I get from, from this. I do like a cropped suit. You know, I like a cropped suit jacket moment another silver i guess we're just going full on forks and knives aesthetics for for this carpet this evening and she looks fine next sierra 
I don't know. I don't. I don't think I like it actually. I don't. I do. No, I don't like it. It looks like she went to her nearest high school and got on the stage, found the curtain, and then went like this, and then added a boot. It's a hell no, actually, for me. Next up is Taraji P. Henson. Taraji P. Henson, once again, shout out to the makeup artists, because clearly those are the real stars here. Um, makeup looks great. I like it. This is an episode of, do I like it or is she just a black woman and therefore I stand regardless? And I think, I think it's just because she's African-American. However, I think I kind of get the idea that's going on here. It's almost like, she kind of looks like Eartha Kitt actually, but like this almost um, uh, like a glamorous, you know, dressing room kind of look where your hair isn't done yet. However, the makeup artist is working on the mug and then you're wearing your robe still because your assistant is still steaming your dress. Ian Dior, I feel like he's a product of the TikTok community. This is every stud the night before they become somebody's studsman. It's giving sweaty ash cheek bachelor party energy. <laughs> I, don't, I like the color of the suit. I wish it fit. I'm gonna profile this man and I'm assuming he's a rapper. And rappers are kind of like known for not wearing clothes that fit, whether, whether that be they're wearing a kid size 14 pant or jeans only LeBron James can wear. Sis, what the fuck is this? You're not being serious. You're not being serious. She looks like a chaperone at a dance for a youth group. She looks like she just got divorced. I don't know, who is this woman? I don't know who this woman is. Anthony Anderson, here's the thing. I think Anthony Anderson looks good. And he also falls into that category of people wearing things that are really not anything to write home about, but whatever it is they're wearing, it's it looks good and they look good. It's all black, it's a matching set. He's got the turtleneck, the beard is blending into the turtleneck with these loafers. I don't know what the brand is, Gucci loafers on. He looks good, I think he looks really nice. Um, it's basic, but he looks good. I mean, it's giving plus one energy and that's probably what he is. Meg the Stallion. What the hell? You, I am, wow, wow. AMAs don't seem like the top of people's priority list. So they probably weren't, you know, uh, this probably wasn't the time where they were gonna bring out their best. But this, listen, this looks like she took it out of Selena Gomez's closet. <laughs> You gotta give it back to Selene or you done stretched it out and shit, girl. I hate everything about it. It's very basic. It's giving Forever 21. This is bad. I also don't like the slick back. I'm not a fan of the slick back. The rings are cool. I see what you're doing there with the icy, icy girl situation. This is bad though. I don't like it at all. It literally looks like you threw this on to go check the mail. Okay, Lover and Cox. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about Laverne Cox. I love Laverne Cox, but every time I see Laverne Cox, all I see is Beyonce. I feel that Laverne's aesthetic is basically Beyonce circa 2000, like 14 to 18. And does Laverne always look good? Yes. But Laverne also always looks like Beyonce. So of course Laverne is always going to look good. I just feel like I want to know, I want to see Laverne's individuality and uniqueness, talent and nerve, you know, when it comes to these looks. Cause whenever I see them, it's just, it's giving pretty horrors. It's just giving, I don't know, man. Like she looks good. Like I can't deny that Laverne Cox always looks good. I just, just see Blue's Mama every time I see her. It's giving me back cover of Sasha Fierce, you know? Oh, this is Homegirl from, is Homegirl from Walking Dead? Once again, I love a ho aesthetic. I love like a slither of tit, you know, just a, just a glimpse of a drawl. Uh, I love when their slit is right in the front instead of on the side, because then you get to see both legs going through. So all that considered, I like it. These bows are kind of throwing me off. It's mainly the one on the bottom. The one on the top, I don't mind as much. 
even though it's it's giving um when you were a kid and you used to stick your napkin in your t-shirt to get the drippage maybe i don't like this actually <laughs> do i like this i don't i don't think this dress is bad but i also don't think it's acceptable but i love the confidence it gives i love how sexy it is i like that she pulled her hair back i feel like it's making her I feel like whenever girls pull their hair back, really anybody pulls their hair back, I feel like it accentuates their shoulders. I think just because it creates one line that goes right down, you know? But lastly, Lil Baby. I wish I had glasses on so that I could take them off in disgust. I didn't know the new boys were still making music. Um, Lil Bow, I just don't know. Why show up? You know what I mean? If this is what you're gonna wear, just don't, wear, don't walk the carpet. It's very matchy matchy. If he was going, to pick up his new pair of AirPods from Best Buy curbside pickup. This is fine. Overdressed even. But because it's a red carpet award show, he looks like a like the the child of a celebrity who's actually rocking the red carpet. <laughs> it's bad. Those are all the looks from the AMAs that I'm going to be discussing. And honestly, some of them weren't even worth the discussion. If you are interested in seeing me roast <laughs> other people's outfits, go ahead and head on down to the description, okay? Links are there for your convenience. And um, subscribe, man. You made it all to the end, so you like me, so don't deny this. Don't deny this. But, oh, by the way, if you're interested in outfits, if you're interested in style videos, I have a second channel called Made You Looks Channel. We got hauls going up over there. We got outfit videos going up over there. I be talking a little shit over there too. Um, it's a brand new channel, but it's quality content, all right? And so, yeah, man, I'll see y'all soon in another video, whether it be on this channel or that one. Have a good Sunday. Bye.